Hello and welcome to my channel. Right, today I'm going to do another Valentine's set and it's going to be using um, foils. So I've got these, these foils here. So I'm going to look through them and decide, although they could probably use more than one, they, they all seem to go together, all the colours are quite similar. So I'll have a look through them, I'll get my nail stand set up and we'll continue from there. Right, I've decided I'm going to choose this one. I think with a white background, this one will look really, really pretty. There's little hats and boxes. and There's all sorts. <laughs> okay, I've um, finished doing two coats of the white. And I've got these, we, we um, kept getting these in the Vetsy boxes, the mystery boxes, but sadly they're not doing mystery boxes anymore. So we've got these patterns here, circles, and I suppose they're like a French tip type shape to go on the edge there. So I'll start with this one. I'm going to get one of my French tip these, I don't know what they're called, chevrons, peel it off, I'm at the wrong angle aren't I, hold on, that's better, so get my nail, I want to put it about, not halfway, but probably about there. Yeah, so a little bit of pressure. Like that. Just have a good look at it. See if it looks even. <laughs> as even as I can do and just press it down a bit more like that and then get my Madame Glam Super cat eye. And just paint over it. That's just starting to come up there, so I'll just push that back down. annoying just push that down like that there we go and then just move So it's just reflecting at the tip. Do you see that? I'll put that, oh, hang on. I think you take this off first, don't you? I think I made a mistake last time and I, um, it's not perfect, but it's okay. I'll have to neaten that up a tiny bit. So I'll pop that in the lamp. Now for the second coat, I just get a little bit on my ultra fine brush. Just to neaten up that line. Like that. 
the other side. sure that I go right to the edge making sure both edges are completely covered just bringing it down. Like that. Just give my brush a little wipe. And then just brushing it down very lightly just to make sure it's all facing the right way. Like that. And then just like before, go in at the sides, in at the sides, and then down, pushing it down a little bit, just, just so the shine is, is at the tip, like that, see, and pop that in. Okay, so that's come out the lamp, and that's what it looks like. Right, for the next one, I'm going to do a circle in the middle, try and get it in the middle. So I'll get this circle. Good start, try this one. There we go. I want to pop this as near as to the middle as I can. Like that. And push it down. <coughs> just to make sure because we don't want any air bubbles because then the polish won't come off the same right so again my Madame Glam cat eye Try and make it so you can't see the brush strokes. A bit like when you're painting a wall, if anyone's ever painted a wall. Right. Now with this one, I want to try and get a line. Um, I'm just wondering. I think I've got another magnet. 
yeah yeah this this one does like a line going across so I'm going to try and go through that circle so the line comes out both sides like that yeah that'll do for the first coat oh I've got to take that off haven't I that's not going to be easy <laughs> hold on This idea worked in my head, but it's not working in real life. I suppose patience. It is coming. There we go, that's a bit of a mess. <laughs> right. I'll just tidy that up and then I'll be back. Right, I've tidied that up. I had to put a little blob of white in and just tidy that up a bit because it, it wasn't how I wanted it to be. So I've got my Madame Glam Silver Gel paint and now I'm just going to go around it just to give it some definition. It's only a very short fine brush so I'm just taking tiny little strokes wobbling as usual it's funny when I've got the long striping brush I don't wobble as much as when I'm doing tiny ones But this just gives it like a frame. Like that. And then again, just at the top here. I've got my Wow Bow Gems glue and I'm going to put a nice big blob in the middle and just position it where I want it. that in trying to pick up this one there we go 
And then the next thing we're going to do when I've flash cured that is get my nail art foil glue from my cart. It is my cart, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. So there it is. just going to go over it like that and pop that in for a minute and then I'm going to put these on try and get it the right way for you so we've got two little heart balloons and we've got a little pink flower pot and it's got a little heart flower on it. These um, foils are just brilliant and there's so many of them, they just last forever. Right, that's out the lamp. So I'll just get my little flower pot and I'm just going to pop it on like that. And get my little hearts, my heart balloons. And I'm going to pop that go so I just press that down make sure it's all in oops my nails come off I'm being too rough let me pop that back on right someone at the door right sorry about that I had a friend come round um, so I don't know how this is going to be because I left it like this and now I'm going to take them off and I don't know if it's going to have ruined but I'll try. I'll just peel that off. No, that's, that's okay. And this one. Hang on a minute, Let's see if I can get it off. There we go, that's okay. Maybe it's better to leave it on a bit longer. The statics making the plastic stick to my fingers. There. So that's that one finished. I'll just put some top coat on I think. I'm using the nail mate from Glitter Planet. <clears throat> my voice is a bit hoarse now because I've been yakking to my friend. So just a nice coating all the way around so everything's nice and shiny. <clears throat> like that. And then pop that in the lamp for one minute and that will be the first nail finished. So there it is. Really like that, that goes well. Right, I'm going back to my nail art foil glue and I'm just going to paint a nice coating over 
the whole of this nail. Like that. And pop that in for a minute. Right, so I've got this one here. Like lots of little heart balloons. I think they're meant to be balloons. <clears throat> so I'm just going to place that like that and just rub it down. Try and do it so there's no no wrinkles. Just keep sort of pulling and stretching, pulling and stretching like that. On the other side. Okay, so that's rubbed on clearly. So I'll just peel it off carefully. Where the creases are, it looks like I am going to miss little bits, but with the top coat on, it won't look too bad. That's not too bad. It's quite rare to get a full, full details coming on. So there you go, that's, that's the next one. I'll just get my nail mate again. And that will make it look a lot better. Like that. that in. But I've chosen my next um, transfers that I want to use. So this one's going to be the whole nail in the foil glue from my cart. Just make sure it's completely covered like that. And pop it in the lamp for a minute. Um, there's no instructions on my macart, but I'm sure in the back of my mind somewhere it said um, two minutes. If anyone knows, let me know if it is actually two minutes that it should be in or one minute. It does work on one minute. I'm just wondering if maybe two minutes it would be even better. But the, um, the directions say curing in the LED UV lit nail lamp. That's all it says. It doesn't say one minute, two minutes. It's just everything seems to be one minute, but thought somewhere in the back of my mind it was two minutes so right five seconds left and then we'll get it out okay I just noticed as well if you look at the white that hasn't got the macart gel and then you look at the one that has that's gone more of a creamy color do you see I don't know what that's about. So I've got my heart box, whoops, which I'm going to try and pop in the middle. Like that. And then just press it down. I know that the nature of the curve, you know, it lends itself to creases but just try and do your best at not creasing because you do lose a little bit of the pattern if you get creases
Okay, so that's that one. And then I've got XO, XO here, which again I'll put just at an angle like that, just to the side. Yeah, not an angle, more, more to the side than an angle. And then just press that down. See, if you can get away with no creases, it it will make a big difference on things like this because you don't want the XOXO having a little bit missing. And then down here, oops, we've got, <laughs> can't pick it up, a ring. I'll put that there. And then just start taking them off. That one came off okay. If you peel it off slowly, you can see where it's just not stuck down. It's weird, you think it would be, I've pressed on and off. It makes me wonder if it is two minutes for the macart. Oh, just a tiny bit of the heart there sticking off. And then the ring. Trying to find the edge. I think the whole thing's stuck down. There we go. I'm in. There we go. So I'll give that a top coat. Shame about those two little bits there. But it does make a difference when you top coat. It sort of smooths everything. But it's definitely made that um, white more of a cream. There you go, that's the next one. Pop that in. Right, I've got another one of these stickers. So I'm going to pop it across like that, at that angle. Mm, that's not quite right. A bit lower down. Try that. There we go, it wasn't reaching. So it's sort of at an angle like that. And I've got to make sure again that the edges are pressed all the way down, because otherwise the, the paint will seep underneath, which you don't want. And again, I'm going to get my Madame Glam Super Cat Eye. And just paint this. 
acá. Get my magnet. just the first coat. Get my tweezers and again carefully so that it doesn't smudge too much. Take it away. It will need to tidy up like before but that's the sort of look So I'll pop that in the lamp for a minute. Right, I've uh, taken this out of the lamp. I just tidied it up again like before, just where the edges are, where you peel the stickers off. So I wanted that a little bit tidier. So I'll go back to my silver gel paint now from Madame Glam and my Neo Nails brush, my Ultra Fine. And again, just like before, I'm just going to outline. So just a teeny bit on the brush and then I'm just going to draw a line to outline like before. So a teeny bit on the brush and pull it forward like that. And then again following the line but also it just tidies it up hold on there like that so I'll pop that in for a minute wipe the brush I like to keep everything clean as I go along And then so I can get an idea of how things are looking, I'll get these, I'll just stick them back together again, like that, really good stand, there we go. Right so I've got this and I've put um, a coat of the Macart glue, Macart foil glue. And now I'm going to place my cl my cloud on my hat. Do I go to the side? I think I'll go in the middle this time. Like that. Now I've just noticed there's a little bit of another one which I don't want on there. So I'll get rid of that. Cut that off. There we go. And then again from the middle just pressing outwards trying to avoid any creases really don't want any creases if possible and then when you think you've got got it where you want it I can just put a bit more pressure on press it and 
I'm probably a little paranoid when it comes to these <laughs> overdoing it but it's just so nice if it comes off without leaving bits coat that and pop that in for a minute so there you go that's what that one looks like Right, the last nail I've just popped on for a minute, the McCart foil glue. And I've got this one here, which I'm gonna pop smack bang in the middle, like that, just down a little bit. So I know I'm a bit like a broken record, but start in the middle, I find that's the best, and then just push outwards. I've got a crease in that heart, I'm not sure. Can't tell. That's not too bad, there was a little crease but you couldn't see it that, that much. Like that. So I'll top coat that and pop it in the lamp. Right, there's the final results. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed doing this set. It's a little longer than the normal sets, but I really enjoyed it. So like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.